At the beginning of December this year the toy retailer announced it would be closing a quarter of its stores in a restructuring plan that would save the business. Toys R Us is now facing going into administration, a collapse that would lead to the loss of 3,200 jobs. The toy giant has been struggling to win the support of the state-backed Pension Protection Fund. The UK branch of the toy retailer proposed the restructuring plan to the PPF, a plan it believed would save the ailing business. Troubled, Toys R Us are one of many companies struggling to pay for expensive pension schemes. Unless it reaches a deal with the PPF, it would likely go into administration. Get it. Stock administration Toys R Us are teetering on the edge of going bust Toys R Us said the plan to close a quarter of its 105 UK stores would constitute essential changes to the business to put us in a more financially stable position for the future. This plan was supposed to involve closing the stores that make the biggest loss, resulting in the loss of up to 800 jobs. At the mention of this restructuring plan, it led the PPF which is Toys R Us' biggest creditor, to assess its retirement fund. The PPF estimated that the UK Business Retirement Fund had a shortfall of £25.35 £25, million, with its 600 members. The creditor is now planning to exert its rights, claiming a £9 million payment in return for supporting the deal from the toy giant. A restructuring would potentially give the retailer a chance of survival. It seems like half the shops we remember from when we were kids are now gone. Is the Great British High Street dying? We take a look at the stores that have closed P Archive PA Images BHS British Home Stores closed amid controversies surrounding Chairman Philip Green in 2016 talks between Toys R Us and PPF continue today. A source has revealed that if the two parties do not reach a decision, they will be forced to call in administrators by the end of the week. The credit a vote will take place Thursday morning in London. Getty Jobs If the retailer goes into administration it could result in the loss of 3,200 jobs Toys R Us has tried to reassure worried shoppers who have bought Christmas presents. The UK business has also claimed that there will be no changes to its refunds or gift cards policy. On its website the business states you can change your mind about an online purchase within 14 days of the delivery date. It also says that Christmas orders made from November 2nd until December 22nd, that you wish to return can be accepted until January 10, 2018. For this you will receive a full refund. From the famous pick and mix to buying their latest albums, Woolworths had it all, and was a fixture in every high street in Britain. It closed its stores in 2008, and is keenly missed by generations who grew up with its Bloomberg via Getty Images a familiar sight in every high street in Britain if you receive a damaged item, you have 30 days to return it for a full refund. If the firm goes bust, it is up to the administrators if they wish to accept gift cards. As it is Christmas time, gift cards are likely to be popular, so it is advisable to spend those as quickly as possible. Money saving expert has warned that you could face losing the cash completely if you do not spend it as soon as possible. Some retailers also allow customers to claim a refund on gift cards. Toys R Us also runs a payment scheme called Take Time to Pay, a scheme that allows customers to pay for an item over 4, 8 or 12 weeks. This scheme does not have the same protection as if you were saving money in a bank, so it is likely that if the company goes bust, you will lose your money. It is advised that if you use the scheme, you should pay the outstanding payments as quickly as possible so you can get your item. Getty decision talks between Toys R Us and PPF continue if the firm goes into administration. It is the administrators that will have the last say in what happens to returns. The safest way is to get the refunds done as quickly as possible. There are some rights that protect you, as put forward in the Consumer Rights Act 2015. This means you have a right to a refund on damaged or faulty items within 30 days of purchase. 
foreign item bought online you automatically get a 14 day period in which you can change your mind. If you simply change your mind about an item you bought in store, you do not have the same rights. Related articles